Hello and welcome to Pay the Pool Man. We're so glad you're here. If you're watching this video, you're probably pretty new to the program and are looking to figure out how to navigate the system. So today what we're gonna do is walk through just a quick dashboard overview and how we navigate through Pay the Pool Man. First thing we'll see is we see our notice section, the money section, and overdue accounts. Each time you log in to Pay the Pool Man, this is the screen you are going to see. In your alert section, you can see things like updated cards or bids that might be approved and different things like that. Your shopping list, you can click on any one of these options. It's going to take you over to your list. You can check through what techs have added. You can check through what's been completed and anything along those lines and sort between technicians. If you want to get back to your dashboard to pay the pullman, always click the pay the pullman logo in the corner and you will be back on the dashboard. And this is the same for the mobile app. And then from there, we have our money section where we can see our monthly auto billing, year to date gross, payments received, amount owed, and active customers. And over here, you have your overdue accounts where you can quickly take action on a customer who is past due to get that bill paid so that you can move forward in your company. So up here, we have our orange ribbon. This is going to be your menu bar. And down here, you have this white ribbon, which is going to be your tabs bar. Tabs is for quick navigation. And this menu bar up here has a lot of similar things, but a bit different. So first, let's look at our menu bar up here. This settings button here takes us to our company settings page where we can click any of these options to look at different things. We can make edits to our account. We can add a Stripe account. We can find help options down here if you want to reach out to us and all sorts of different things like that. Our run billing is going to be the next button. Now don't fear if you click on this button, many people think this will run your billing automatically, but it just takes you to this screen so you can enter your information to run billing. We see the number up here is eight, which means there's eight pending invoices on this page. And those can sit there until you're ready to turn, put them out or send them out, whatever you need to do. You can enter payments here with this payment button. You can see previous payments for 30 days. You can print a deposit slip or add a new payment. You can add a customer here and enter their information. You can also add payments and customers down here in tabs, and we'll go through that in a minute. And you can go to interchange, and you can see your open interchanges, your new interchanges, close, or request. You can also request interchanges here, which is going to be quick customer onboarding. This sends a form to your customer to get them into your company quickly so you can start bidding them out or put them on your service schedule or whatever you need to do. From there, we're going to click plus, and this takes you to your plus control panel. And there's another video walking through the details of the plus control panel and what's available to you. So check that out if you have more questions. And then you have your more tab and your more tab has uh, extra work button. It has gate codes and locks. It's got expense section, file cabinet, another plus section to get over to that dashboard. Here's what that looks like. Always click home to get back to your main pay the pull man. And then you have income items, reports, correspondence, filter tracking, salt cell tracking. Your filter and salt cell trackings are also down here. And most importantly, that help button that takes you to our page that has many, many different articles, super quick and easy, great to read through. If you have a quick question or maybe you catch us after hours, please check out that help page. We hope you find it to have the resources you need. And there are links to YouTubes as well. So check that out. From there, we have a customer lookup bar up here where we can search customers, or we have a customer lookup down here in tabs where we can search customers. This is also available on the mobile app. Tabs makes the mobile app very quick and easy, and even the web version as well. So this create tab is going to be a powerhouse of pretty much all kinds of really easy daily things that you can use and pay the pullman. So you can send an interchange request, Right here, you can add customers through this create tab. You can make a one-off invoice. You can make a one-off bid. You can route a service stop, route a repair stop, make a payment, make an extra work from anywhere you want. So it's really cool because you can just add a customer, search a customer, click and fill out that invoice and have it done in a matter of seconds so that it doesn't take time out of your day and you make sure you do that while it's on fresh on your mind. So next we have another way to get to plus. We want to make sure you know that this control panel is easy to access. So this plus tab is very helpful as well. And lastly, on the tabs bar, you have view where you can see gate code shopping list, 
routes and reports, which is really cool because reports, you can scroll through any of the reports in our section and click to get there. Very nice and handy, very easy to navigate. And to log out, of course, you can click your company name up here in the corner, click log out, or in the settings page down here, use our log out. And if you have any questions about how to navigate Pay the Pullman or any further questions or want to walk in detail through any of these features, please check out our YouTube, our help page, or reach out to our support staff and we'd be happy to help you. We hope you find this helpful and if you have any questions, let us know. Okay, thank you. Thank you.